Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Atman Shah. I teach economics at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, India. In this video, I'm going to discuss the rank correlation analysis, its theory and practice using SPSS. You can find more videos on SPSS statistics and economics on our YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So in this video, in the beginning, I'm going to discuss the theory of rank correlation analysis. And then I'm going to uh, show you how to perform this test in SPSS and the interpretation of the result. You can find our video on the correlation analysis and various correlation coefficients based on their uses. The link is given in the description. Let's begin with the introduction. Correlation analysis in general is used to examine or to study the association of the variables, the strength of the association and the direction of the association. So whether two variables or more than two variables are uh, positively associated or negatively associated, whether the association uh, between two variables is strong or weak. So that kind of analysis can be done with the use of correlation analysis and various methods are there to examine the or to calculate the correlation coefficient. So rank correlation is one of them. Rank correlation analysis is useful to study the association between two variables. So when we have more than two variables, rank correlation analysis cannot be used. It is developed by British psychologist C. E. Spearman and therefore, it is also referred to as Spearman's rank correlation analysis. This test or this analysis is a non-parametric. And therefore, the normality assumption is not required to perform this test. So there is no need to check the normality assumption before performing the rank correlation analysis. Here, two variables are either measured on ordinal scale or ratio or interval scale. So basically, rank correlation analysis is used when we have the ordinal data. So we have three possibilities. First is both the variables are in the rank format, which means that both the variables are measured on ordinal scale. Then we don't have any problem. But suppose one variable is measured on ordinal scale and second variable is measured on interval or ratio scale. So in that case, we need to convert the interval or ratio scale data into ordinal format. Third possibility is both the variables are measured on interval or ratio scale. So in this case, we need to convert both the variables into ordinal data. The conversion of this interval or ratio data into ordinal uh, scale has uh, two benefits. First, it deals with the outliers. So suppose you have the outliers in, uh, in your data, when we convert the interval or ratio scale data into ordinal data, we give ranks. And therefore, we don't need to bother about the outliers. Second, there is no need to check the normality assumption because now our data is in ordinal format. Usually, uh, the uh, range of the rank correlation is between minus one and plus one. So uh, minus one shows the perfect negative correlation and plus one shows the perfect positive correlation. The important thing is this does not measure the linear relationship only. Rather, it measures the monotonic relationship. The Pearson's correlation coefficient measures the linear relationship only. Here, rank correlation analysis measures the monotonic relationship not the linear relationship. Let's understand the null and alternative hypothesis in case of rank correlation analysis. So here the null hypothesis is there is no significant correlation between two variables. Or we can say two variables are independent of each other. The alternative hypothesis is there is a significant correlation or association between two variables or we can say two variables are significantly associated or correlated with each other. Let's understand it 
with the examples of various uh, fields. Suppose we are interested in examining the correlation between GDP and HDI, Human Development Index, of states or countries. So here we can measure or we can examine whether uh, states or countries uh, with higher GDP rankings have the higher rankings in HDI or not. So whether rankings in GDPI, GDP, whether higher rankings in GDP is associated with the higher rankings in HDI or lower rankings in HDI. So we can use rank correlation analysis. Uh, again, we can use rank correlation analysis to examine the association between marks obtained in mathematics and physics. So students who are scoring higher in mathematics are also scoring higher in physics. Third, correlation between scores given by two judges. Suppose we have a competition and we have two judges, so we can examine the correlation uh, between the marks given by two judges to a particular team or to a particular participant. Fourth, correlation between residential status and anxiety level. So suppose we have a higher residential status, uh, metro city, mega city, urban area, semi-urban area, so in that case, whether higher uh, residential status is associated with the higher anxiety level or not. So there are various examples of uh, rank correlation analysis. Let's take this example to examine or to study the rank correlation in SPSS. So we have two judges, the decisions of two judges for eight teams participating in a particular uh, competition. So in this table, we have eight teams, marks given by judge one and marks given by judge two. Visible view of our data file. You can see variable team marks one, which uh, shows the marks given by judge one and marks two, which indicates the marks given by judge two. Now we know that uh, marks is a ratio scale variable. So that is why we have selected scale in measure column. This is the data view of our file. So here we have uh, teams, marks one and marks two. Now, if you perform rank correlation analysis manually, you will have to convert this data into ordinal data. As I said, here both the variables are a ratio scale data. So we need to convert this data into ordinal format. So when you solve the example manually, you will have to convert this data into ordinal format. But here in SPSS, you don't need to give uh, ranks before you perform the test. SPSS automatically calculates the rank and generate the result. So in this case, the null hypothesis is there is no correlation between marks given by judge one and judge two. Or in other words, uh, marks uh, given by judge one and judge two are independent of each other. The alternative hypothesis is there is a significant correlation between marks given by judge one and judge two or marks given by judge one and judge two is associated with each other. So to perform rank correlation analysis, go to analyze, correlate, bivariate. Again, go to analyze, correlate bivariate. So once you click on bivariate, you can see this dialog box called bivariate correlations on your screen. Here we have the option of variables box. So in this variable box, we select the variables for which we want to calculate the correlation. So in this case, we want to calculate the correlation between marks given by judge one and marks given by judge two. So select these two variables and move them to the variables box. By default, in this correlation coefficients box, Pearson is selected. So uncheck this box and select Spearman because we want to calculate the rank correlation analysis and simply click OK. So you can see the output or the result of this correlation in your output window. You can see the correlation matrix. Here, the correlation coefficient is 0 0.881. Now, before we interpret the result, we need to check the statistical significance of this correlation. 
So you can see the SIG value, P value is 0 0.004. And here you can see that correlation is significant at the 0 .00, 0 0.01 level, which means that this correlation coefficient is significant at 0 0.01 level because this value 0 0.004 is less than 0 0.01. Now we need to interpret the correlation coefficient, which shows the direction of the association as well as strength of the association. Since the correlation is positive, we can say that there is a positive correlation between marks given by judge one and judge two. Now what is the strength of the association? This value 0 0.881 is between 0 0.5 and 0 0.1, which shows the strong positive correlation. So our final conclusion is there is a significant strong positive correlation between marks given by judge one and judge two. Now, suppose you generate the ranks. Let me show you. We have this data go to transform and here you have the option of rank cases in transform command you have the option of rank cases so select rank cases so we want to give a rank to marks given by judge one and marks given by judge two both here you can see uh, assign rank one to smallest value or largest value so by default it is selected smallest value but we want to give first rank to uh, the highest value. So select largest value and simply click OK. Now you see your data file to more uh, variables are generated. R marks one and R marks two. You can see the variable view. Here we have these two new variables. So now we have the ranks. And then you calculate the Spearman rank correlation again and see the result. So I'm again going to analyze correlate bivariate. Now instead of these original values, I'm using the ranks. So rank of marks one and rank of marks Spearman is selected. Again, click on OK. Go to your output window and see the result. It is same. This Spearman's rank correlation is between rank of marks one and rank of marks two. And the above result is between marks given by judge one and marks given by judge two. Both the results are same. So that is why there is no need to generate the rank. Uh, before we perform the Spearman's rank correlation uh, analysis in SPSS. SPSS automatically creates the rank and generates the result. So this is the idea of rank correlation analysis, its theory and application in SPSS. So if you find, find this video useful, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. Thank you.